aside, today is the second video for this week. I decided I would split them into two. You'll have to let me know if you like this better. So we are officially free. We're done with quarantine. So I hope you're not going to hear me talk about anything else related to all of that. Uh, we are out. We are home free. We got Chick-fil-A minis this morning on our way home from an appointment. And then we went to Walmart and got all of the groceries that we need that I couldn't get at Aldi. So we are doing a lot of baking this weekend for several different events. So I think what I will do is just take you guys along with me and show you the things that we are baking this weekend. And this will really just be like a bake along with us episode. So the first thing that we are doing is making mini chocolate chip pound cakes that are little bundt pans. So I'll take you into the kitchen and show you. I used to have some really, really small ones that were almost a cupcake size, and they were just too small. Well, then I found a larger pan at a yard sale and I switched them out. So a lot of times that's the way that secondhand shopping kind of works for us is we find something that suits our needs better and then we cycle out the one that we had before. So that was the case here. Uh, these cakes, uh, this is what I am doing for my students. So I do teach music, if you don't know. Um, so I have, oh, I don't know, 14 or 15 students now. So I am going to make them each a little mini cake. So I'll take you along and show you what we are doing. So this is the pan that I was talking about. It makes six little um, cakes. It is the Nordic brand. Uh, you can see that there or not? Yeah. Um, so I am going to butter this and flour it and then we will start making our cakes. Open this and do the whole same. bag. The whole bag. Can you want to help? Help me. Help me. Four. Four. Say bye bye, cake mix. Bye bye, cake mix. Come on. Come on, baby. going to do this time that I haven't done in the past is make notes of how far one batch goes as far as how many cakes it will make. So I'm filling up each one with a one fourth cup measuring cup. Uh, so it looks like maybe with one batch I can get 12 mini cakes. Some of them I am having to go back and fill a little bit more than one fourth of a cup. Uh, so we'll see how far this reaches it looks like maybe i'll be able to get two pans done with one batch of cake batter Make it right. me. Now, they're supposed to bake for 50 minutes if they're big cakes since they're smaller cakes i'm going to set the timer for 25 minutes and check them then I'm gonna pause from the cooking here for a minute to show you something that I'm doing. So I delivered all of my cakes yesterday. Um, if you saw me say that I adjusted the time from 50 minutes to 25 minutes, that's what I did and it worked perfectly. So if you do decide to make that cake recipe and you're making smaller cakes, I would try cutting the cooking time in half and then just checking them. So when I was at work yesterday and I gave my cakes, I also received a few gifts. So whenever I get gifts, I do this every single time. Um, so I just go through and I determine what of the wrapping materials I want to donate, what of them need to be thrown away, and what of them I want to keep. I got several sweet gifts. I got some Lindor Lint truffles. 
I got a Hershey's Cookies and Cream Build a Snowman, which this is actually one of my favorite candy bars, so that will be fun to do with the kids. I'll let them help me with that. And then I also got these little nativity ornaments, which I think are just beautiful. So, what I do is I go through and I determine, is any of this something that I want to add to my wrapping collection? So I'll start with this bag. This is actually what I took the cakes in. This was a recycled bag from a grandparent's gift last year. And I will just go ahead and keep this. So all I have to do is fold it and it will go in my little wrapping thing under my bed. This is just a bag from the boutique where this gift was bought. So it's not really like a keep bag. I'm gonna fold it and put it in the donate pile anyway and they can determine if they wanna throw it away or not. Um, also the wrappings that came with this are just not my personal taste. Um, I will keep the red tissue paper, but I don't decorate with this color or wear this color like ever. So those things will go hey, and donate ready. as well. I don't mind brown craft paper, but I'm not a big chevron person. So this will go into donate and all of this will get folded to be reused. All right, so now I have my donate pile and I have my keep pile. This will go underneath my bed in my wrapping storage. So, like I said, or may not have said, today is Friday. I gave everybody their pound cakes yesterday. People gave me gifts. I am in the process of putting them where they go, and I've already put the wrapping away. Um, I went to Dollar Tree today, and I went to the thrift store. Uh, the thrift store, I'm just going to do a whole separate video because I've done two thrift trips this week, and so I'll just share everything that I got in that video. That will be coming uh, next week. As far as Dollar Tree, I am going to lay out here on the bed and just show you the things that I got. So I told you that this is kind of going to be a baking vlog and that's what most of this is going to be, but I will show this uh, Dollar Tree stuff. My friend Amanda is coming over tonight and we are baking cookies with my kids and for dinner we are having charcuterie boards. So I've eaten plenty of them, but I've never made one for myself. So I will take you along and show you how I'm making it. Everything is from Aldi. And then I'm making my sister's sugar cookie recipe for the first time. She usually does the whole bit and does royal icing. She does a fantastic job. I'm actually going to see if I can insert some pictures here of her cookies. She's just out of this world so good at it. Um, and it's just a hobby. She just does it for fun. It's just something she enjoys. But I think instead of doing the royal icing route, especially with a two and a four year old, we are just going to do like regular old icing. And I might do a few different colors, you know, split the batch up into smaller batches. So that is what tonight holds. I knew I wanted to do something simple for supper because baking cookies with colored icing and just the whole thing, the flour, everything, it's a lot. And I knew that I didn't want to have double messes in the kitchen. So I was like, we will either order a pizza or I'll make like a crock pot of soup or we'll do a charcuterie board. And uh, my friend liked that idea, so that's what we're doing. So between now and the time she gets here, which is like uh, like an hour from now-ish, um, I have to make the dough, make the icing, and just tidy up the kitchen, plus show you these Dollar Tree things. So I need to quit talking and show you. All right, these are my goodies from Dollar Tree. I spent $9.63. So I really have plenty of wrapping materials. The only thing I needed were boxes. If something can only fit in a gift bag, I'll put it in a gift bag, but I, I don't know, I connect like on a therapeutic level with wrapping boxes and uh, embellishing them. I just really love like going the box route and I wanted to make sure I had enough and varying sizes. So it really doesn't so much matter what they look like because they're gonna be wrapped anyway. But anyway, I have these square ones here. So there's a Santa one and then there's snowflakes. There are these that are kind of a small rectangle. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then on this side, it's just like a cute little girly pattern. And then I was actually drawn to this one first because of the green color, surprise, surprise. It says uh, warm winter wishes. And then on this side, it says Merry Christmas. And it says there's actually one in there that says Happy Holidays with like a buffalo check. So anyway, that gives me some boxes to pull from because I don't know how many, if any, are in my little wrapping thing. This is a 
plastic placemat and anytime we play with play-doh or moon sand i pull these out but i only have one so i've been wanting to get another one so abram and andy would each have like their own play space so i got that one i always loved having either a marshmallow santa or a like crunch santa i don't know what you call it in my stocking so i got these so that each of my kids can have one in their little stocking because of abram having covid and then his class not meeting we didn't get to do teacher gifts so i haven't quite decided what i'm going to do for them but i think it will probably involve some combination of our family christmas card plus some sort of baked good and i don't know i may add something else to that but I saw these tins and I thought for Dollar Tree they looked really nice and I could just pop a ribbon or a bow on the top and that would be good. So that's for his teacher and his teacher's assistant. And these, I was just really blown away. So they are kind of like a charcoal gray color, I guess I would say. And I just think they look so elegant to be from Dollar Tree. So did I necessarily need them? probably not but i am getting a little bit low on my bags and i just thought they were beautiful so i got two of them and that is what i got at dollar tree starting to work on our charcuterie board. Abram is over here mixing colors. What colors do we have? Red, green, blue, and yellow. Yeah, and then we got some white over there. So all of this stuff I got from Aldi. This is my first time ever making a charcuterie board. Uh, the cool thing about it is it's just a small group of us here tonight, and then we're getting together with our church on Sunday night for our parent group. So I'm just going to use part of this now, and then I'm going to use the rest of it. So I'll get at least My two meals cheese. out of all of this stuff. So, um, some of these things I've tried before, some of them I have not, but we are just going to put it together. How are you supposed to slice Gouda? I think we had it at Casey's house. So it is Sunday afternoon after we made the cookies. I kind of just put down my camera for the rest of the weekend, mainly just because we were kind of in a rush. We did Christmas brunch with my family on Saturday. That's always such a fun time and we didn't do it last year. So we had all of the delicious brunch foods. I made garlic cheddar biscuits and brown sugar bacon. Uh, I think I've maybe showed both of those on this channel before. But we did that, and then I made a German chocolate pie for my father-in-law. Uh, you'll get to see a video going up. I believe tomorrow is when I'm going to put it up. And I do a little, like, coffee chat where I'm planning my Christmas week. So you'll see that tomorrow or the next day. But I just filmed that, so there's my little coffee and uh, pie there. But it really has been a really good week of baking and just doing fun Christmas things. I did have to tell you, uh, I thought that we were done with the Christmas card saga, but no, apparently we are not. Uh, so Friday, I was waiting for my friend Amanda to come over to bake the cookies, and I got a phone call from Walmart. 
saying that my Christmas cards had been <laughs> delivered. And I was just like, they were? And uh, he said, yes, ma'am. So Brandon actually already happened to be at Walmart. I said, can you pick up our Christmas cards? And he said, okay. So yes, they refunded my order, then sent them on anyway, uh, after I'd already ordered the Walgreens cards. So now instead of having 80 of my original cards, I have two different sets of 80 for a total of 160, which is way more Christmas cards than I need. So here is my other shipment. Um, I'll show you what was originally going to be my design. So these are the original cards that I picked, uh, which is kind of funny because these are printed on photo paper, which is not what I chose. I chose cardstock. So I really just, I don't even know what happened, to be honest. I wouldn't have minded them being delayed if I would have gotten some sort of update, but there was no, they've been printed, they're being shipped, there was no tracking at all. So that's why I decided to go ahead and refund and cancel. And they did in fact refund my money. I went back and double checked. They refunded my money and then they sent them on anyway. Uh, over two weeks late. Friday the 17th would have been two weeks from December 3rd when they were supposed to be delivered. Anyway, I will definitely remember this Christmas as the year of the Christmas cards and it will probably not be forgotten, especially now that I have all of these extra ones. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this second video for this week of December. Uh, I, like I said, I'm gonna be sharing a video probably tomorrow, so you can check back for that. And I do have a couple more things planned for the rest of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching, for following along with me, and just for supporting this channel, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.